Hello, this is Andrew Ford for Photo Focus, and today we're going to learn about expressions when you're animating numbers. If you want to make a number scroll up in value to reach a target number, one of the easiest things to do is to apply a slider control effect to your layer and use an expression to get the result you want. Here we have a composition. Let's create a new text layer and we can write any number. So go to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control, and we're going to make the slider control our numeric value. So what we want to do is create an expression. So we're going to toggle down and reveal our source text field and alt click the stopwatch, opening up the expression area. And we're going to grab the pick whip and drag it to our slider control. And now we can set keyframes for what we want the value to go to. Let's say we want to start at zero. So we'll set a keyframe at zero seconds. And let's say later on in the composition, we want the value to be 100,000. So now with our slider control, notice what happens. We get an animation from zero to 100,000. And this overwrites the numeric value of 1,000 that we originally wrote in our text layer. Again, whatever value you created in your text layer will not apply. The slider control will take over. But we have a problem here when we scroll. Uh, look how many numbers we get after the decimal point. If we just want to have whole numbers, there's an easy fix. We'll go to the expression and at the beginning, we'll type math.round. Math must be with a capital M, otherwise it will not work. After we type math.round and hit enter, two parentheses will appear. We'll leave the open parenthesis, but we need the close parenthesis at the end of the expression. Now we will see as we scroll through that we get whole integers, whole numbers, no thing after the decimal point. Notice when we play, here's what we get, scrolling from zero to 100,000. I find this expression the most efficient for just rounding a number when using a slider control and expression. If you want to add commas into your number, there's a different, more complex expression. I will put the expression up on the screen and we'll go through it, but you can also copy and paste from the text that accompanies this video. This is our variable num equals. Slider control is the name of our effect. By default, it's slider control, but you can rename this effect name and some people do. So whatever this is called is what it's called here. If you don't append the dot value to fixed, you will again have a bunch of numbers after the decimal point. I've appended dot value dot to fixed, notice the capital F, to keep the number without any decimal points. Whatever number you put inside the parentheses will be the number of digits after the decimal point. So if you put parentheses two, you'll get a number that has two numbers after the decimal point. If you just have parentheses with no value in there, you will have no numbers after the decimal point. And all this basically tells After Effects where to add the comma. I wouldn't worry about it, it's very advanced. All you need to know is that it works. We do not need what we originally had in the expression area. We will just copy and paste something new. Notice that I have the two here. So when we go to play this, we should see two values after the decimal. And we do. Notice that if we remove the two, just have the parentheses with no value and play this, we will see a number without a decimal or anything after the decimal. So these are the handy expressions to use when you're trying to automate numbers to scroll and value and either add a decimal point or round out the number or add a comma. Thank you.